guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd bring you a little kind of guide on how to transition your outfits from winter to spring without necessarily having to go out and buy like loads of things because I know it can be so expensive and um, always trying to stay up to date with like the latest trends and obviously moving from one season to another. You wear like, you're not going to wear like the big jackets anymore but those pieces you invested in the winter like some of your loungewear um, like your joggers, your cohorts can also come in really handy for spring. So I just thought I'd show you some ways that I'm kind of like revamping my wardrobe for spring um, without spending too much money. I've got a couple of tips for you and we'll get straight into it. My first kind of tip would be to swap out your big coats and jackets that you've bought over winter for some slightly lighter weight ones. Um, I really like at the moment wearing like a gilet or I'm loving the whole like baseball jacket trend that's kind of coming back in. So I would say swapping out your padded coats, your fur coats, anything like just for like a lighter option. So I'm going to show you some ideas next as to what kind of things I'm talking about and what kind of pieces would be good to kind of layer over some of those cobbles that I was just speaking about before. Nothing I'm saying is making sense. So I'm going to try some bits on for you just so you can get the vibe that like they're not necessarily going to go with this outfit so don't mind that. I also wanted to just touch on the fact that I've got these huge gashes on my wall. Basically my mirror like normally sits here and I'm often like moving it around to get like blank walls in my room for Instagram photos and the mirror actually fell on top of me. Um, obviously I was fine, I'm still living, I'm breathing, I'm here today but that is the reason why we have these huge gashes on my wall. What I meant by like, swapping out your jackets is for some lighter colour neutral options like this. I love this one actually. I think it's so nice. I can't wait to wear this a bit more. Uh, it just kind of lightens everything up as opposed to wearing like a really big puffer jacket or like a darker jacket. This one is from Lily Lulu Fashion on Instagram. I will link their website down below. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I can't wait to style this up with some like, even like white joggers. I feel like this would look really nice with. Um, like a nice white cord underneath maybe, but yeah. Um, that's the first one, so it's just a faux leather cream jacket. Next up is this kind of baseball jacket. I absolutely love this, and it's really lightweight, so it's good for those days where like, the sun's out, but you still need like a little bit of something over your shoulders to keep you warm. Um, I feel like this could probably go with this outfit quite well, actually. Um, it's just this kind of, looks a bit strange here. But anyways, yeah, um, I love a baseball jacket at the moment. I think they look so cute, really on trend. And if you try and go for maybe like more of like the creamy kind of colors, I actually quite like what people have been doing recently where they've been mixing more like of their pastels with like brown kind of colors. I think that's a nice way to kind of transition from those browns we were wearing into winter into spring. Um, so yeah, this is my second option. This is from Shein. Um, again, I will try and link it down below if it is still in stock, but yeah, absolutely love this. I think it's so cute for spring, and you can wear it with so many different things as well. I've actually worn it with like a little wide um, cycling short cold underneath before. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to wear this a little bit more as well. My last kind of like jacket option for your spring wardrobe would be a gilet. I am obsessed with gilets at the moment, and I think they're so versatile and they go with everything. It's a bit cooler than having a like actual full on padded jacket on, and you can wear them over like a jumper, or you can wear it over like a sweatshirt. Like there's so many different ways you can wear them. And I really like that you can like cinch them in at the waist or if you didn't want to do that, you can obviously let them be a bit bigger. But I quite like to like pull them in and then tie them up. Again, this doesn't really go hugely with this outfit. Um, but yeah, I imagine you can get the gist of what I mean. Yeah, this one is from Boohoo and I absolutely love it. I've got a lot of wear out of this already actually. That's kind of it for my spring jackets. I think it's always good just to have a few different styles in your wardrobe. And again, the nice thing about these, you can kind of lay them over your joggers and sweatshirt sets you might have already had. My next kind of tip for revamping your winter wardrobe for spring would be to kind of add pops of color where you can. Um, again, I don't think this has to be like a whole like monochrome color look, because that can be a little bit too much for some people. Not everyone wants to walk around looking like a freaking starburst i really enjoyed wearing just like maybe one piece that's really bright or like spicing things up maybe with a shirt i got this really cute one from boohoo which i'm about to show you guys so in my video where i spoke about my experience having coronavirus i was wearing a blue tracksuit from asos and i think that's another good example of like how you can bring a little bit of color into your wardrobe but still stay warm so like when you're buying your cohorts or like your gilets or little sweatshirts and stuff. Maybe just going for like those more pastel-y, like brighter kind of colors for spring. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna show you a few like brighter pieces that I've been loving at the moment. So first up is this really cute, um, it's like an oversized top. I wore this with cycle shorts underneath and I actually just love this quote on the back. It says, brighter days are coming. And honestly, what an understatement with the news we've had in the last few days, like about everything potentially opening back up again from June. I absolutely love this, I think it's so cute. Excuse it's a bit creased, it's actually was in my wash basket, I have to get it out. I think it's nice to add little pops of color in like this. And again, you can kind of like tie these in with denim so they've not always got to be super bright or really overwhelming with color. But yeah, this one is from ASOS and it's really comfy actually. I've worn it to bed a few times as well. Next up is this really cute shirt from Boohoo. So I'm really liking these kind of like orangey, peachy colors at the moment. It's kind of reminded me of like my whole pastel obsession I had last year. Um, this is super lightweight. So again, perfect for kind of like spring, summer, nice to layer up with. If you have like a dark outfit, this just adds a nice bit of color. Um, I will show you what it looks like again. It's not gonna go with this outfit, but just to get the vibe. Um, yeah, I think it's really cute. I absolutely love the color and it has this really cute quote on the back. I can't remember what it says now, I think it says Lost Love. Um, yeah, so this is a really nice shirt, and I think this just looks really cool with a pair of joggers and like a little crop. And this is from Boohoo. This is the cute back detail on it. So yeah, I find shirts a really good way of kind of um, transitioning into spring as well. If you're going on a walk, instead of bringing like a huge jacket, you can just wear a nice little shirt over the top instead. I'm absolutely loving this kind of Polo trend that's going around at the moment. Um, I think it ties into a lot of like the kind of athleisure vibe, like tennis, tennis players. And this color block shirt is from is from ASOS. And again, it's just tying in those little pops of color with the purple on the sleeves. And the nice thing about this is again, you can just style it with some maybe white joggers that you already had or some jeans. So you haven't got to spend a load of money buying a whole new wardrobe just because you can buy those little pieces that you can style up here and there. Um, yeah, I'm just, again, really feeling like some of these brighter colors, now that we're coming into spring, it's not all the khakis and the blacks and the grays anymore. It's nice to wear a little bit of color. Brighter days are coming, as the top before said. Um, yeah, so this is ASOS. I really like this. I love that it's like oversized as well, not super fitting, it's just really comfy. Next up is this really cute cohort from a brand called Catch Me, and it's actually very similar to the top I'm wearing now. Um, so basically, it is inside out. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see very well, um, but I will insert a picture from my Instagram here. Basically just this really cute bright blue, like a cobalt blue cohort, a top and a little skirt. I wouldn't necessarily wear this on its own because I think the sun is very deceiving at the moment. Like it looks unreal outside, but I imagine if I went out, I'd actually probably be freezing. Um, but I think the idea of even just wearing this maybe with like a pair of joggers or I don't know, I've seen a really cool like Gucci type trend going around, maybe not the black, but like the cream or nude would actually look really cool with this outfit. Um, but yeah, I just think little pieces like this are good to pick up. And I like with cohorts that you can like mix and match with the different pieces and add them in with bits you've already got. So yeah, that's a really cute cohort. I think it's a nice kind of spring as well. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, my at is at Beth McCutcheson. I am obsessed with that blue at the moment and have a little bit of a problem with buying everything in the colour blue. So the last piece is more of like a loungewear piece. Um, my best friend Lauren got me this for my birthday, bless her, which is really kind of her. It's from Shein and it's this kind of like teddy bear material um, cohort. So yeah, it's like a little crop like this and just some shorts. Again, I don't think this would be the kind of thing you'd wear out. I probably wouldn't wear this out. Um, it's more of like a lounging around the house kind of vibe, but it's just really nice to bring some color into, again, like even just to like your work from home outfits or like your loungewear around the house. I don't know, I guess you could kind of wear this top with a pair of jeans or maybe like some joggers or something nice like gold jewelry that might actually look really cool another tip i have for you would be to accessorize with kind of pops of colors again i quite like matching like my accessories like the colors of my accessories to the clothing i'm wearing 
I'm going to show you some pieces I picked up that are a little bit brighter than I'd normally go, quite um, traditional normally with like buying accessories, I'll buy like black bags or cream bags, but I've kind of like pushed the boat out a little bit more recently and they just add that something extra to your outfit, just make it a little bit more interesting. So I thought I'd initially start with bags. Um, I absolutely love this. It's supposed to be a little dupe of the nylon Prada bag and the re-edition that everyone has, but I cannot afford that. So instead, I got the Shein version. Um, I absolutely love this. I think it's so cute and really good for spring. I think I'll wear this a lot for spring and summer, to be honest. The second is this really cute, like, crop green bag. Again, I feel, I'm feeling like all the 90s vibes still this spring, summer, with um, especially with like accessories. I think this is really cute. It's just like a little shoulder bag. Again, like even something like this I could wear with this outfit just because it adds that tiny pop of colour, but it makes such a difference. This one is also from Shein. Um, Shein are really good for accessories. I can't even lie. Like I get a lot of my accessories from there. Next up is this cute crop bag. So this is in a nice neutral colour, nice like 90s kind of shape again. Um, this will go with pretty much everything. It's a really cute shape as well. So yeah, this is a cute little bag from ASOS. If you do Instagram, I think it's always nice to have little accessories. You kind of add to your outfits to add a little bit more interest to your pictures. So yeah, this is a really cute little ASOS bag. I thought I'd bring you a little bit closer for the next bit of the video. So leading on from the kind of accessories I was just speaking about the bags, I wanted to speak about sunnies as well because I've been recently wearing sunglasses more in my pictures and but they just add that like effortlessly cool look. First pair are these like cream, I don't know what style you'd call these, they're like those really cool thin ones that everyone seems to be wearing at the moment but again just like those lighter colours. I feel it look really nice and you can kind of tie these in with like, the bags you use. That's what I tend to do quite often. The second pair are these green transparent ones. I think these are really cool to match with your bag again and they just emulate like all the spring vibes going around. They're so cute. Um, I know these are going around in like quite a few different colors so I might even pick up some like blue or maybe some like orange or something. And the last pair I wanted to show you are the typical kind of like 90s vibes, like the brown lens. I really like these. I don't see these going anywhere anytime soon. I've seen some people rocking some really nice like pastel colour ones, like some blue, some peaches. So again, I feel like I'm gonna need to invest in some more. But yeah, I think this is a really nice style and they just kind of add to that whole 90s vibe that's really going around at the moment. So I just wanted to show you a couple of caps because I feel like caps are so good for again styling up your outfits and um, this one is from Gap I actually got it off Depop so I'm not even sure if Gap is still a, a thing anymore this one is from PLT this is really nice like cord material but again I think this would look really cute with a nice neutral outfit if you're trying to tie in like the creams or even like a darker outfit if you want to just lighten it up a little bit okay so my last kind of tip would be to also look at your footwear as well chunky military boot was a really big thing for winter but now coming into spring i feel like people are going to kind of be moving away from that and more into um like lighter color footwear as well i absolutely love those i think they're like i don't know I think Zara bought them out with their like the welly kind of style boots. They're like um, knee high and they just look really nice on people. I've seen them, I've seen people style them up with dresses and they look really cute. So that's definitely something I want to invest in. Again, I'll try and put a picture in here of the type of boot I mean. I recently bought these low Jordans, which I'm obsessed with. They're in like a baby blue colour and I have been wearing them non-stop and I just feel like even like with an outfit like this, and maybe if I were to add this cute little bag like it just brings in that pop of color and gives more of like a spring vibe i've also been wearing these zara i really should touch the bottom there that's kind of gross <laughs> i've been wearing these zara trainers so much recently i pretty much live in them but they're like a dupe for like converse but i feel like they go with so much and they just lighten up an outfit they're quite cheap as well i think they're like 27 pounds if you're more of a boot wearer i'd really recommend investing in some like cream color boots i've seen a lot of white boots as well going around which i think are super cute and um, so these are still like quite nice and chunky and they do have the black sole which is nice i always wear these boots when i'm wearing a skirt and i think they just really add something to the outfit i absolutely love these and um, i'm pretty sure these are from ego actually i got these I think I actually got these when we were going into like more of like autumn season, but they're just a nice boot to kind of take you through 
those are in between seasons. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to wear these again. So those were my kind of top tips for transitioning your winter outfits into spring. I hope it helped and I hope you liked this video. I'm actually gonna be uploading every Wednesday at 7.30 and every Sunday at 1 p.m. So that is gonna be my new kind of rota. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on my notifications if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my videos. Hope you take care guys and I'll see you again soon.